But if you don't know this, you want to become peaceful, you don't know how to sit still, then what do I do? I'll teach you one mantra, okay, say this every day in the morning, twenty minutes, you say this. Now you become peaceful, this is your ritual. If it's working for you, what is your problem? If it's not working, drop the damn thing, do something else. Every day in the morning you took a swim, that became your ritual, you felt wonderful. Do the damn thing, somebody is doing yoga as a ritual, somebody is doing puja, somebody is uttering a mantra, somebody is singing a song. If it is working for them, what the hell is anybody's problem? But what ritual I do, you must also do. There's no such thing. Something is working for me, I'm doing it. It's not necessary, you must do it. But if you ask me, suppose I'm somebody who is doing every day in the morning, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, it's working for me. If you come and ask me, I'm feeling freaked, what should I do? Hey, try this Om Namah Shivaya, it's working for me. Uh, if you like it, you also do it or you do something else. You do dom, doom, dash, push. <laughs> but the thing is, it must work for you, that's an important thing. So rituals, rituals were fantastic devices created with certain wisdom. Over a period of time, they might have become corrupt in practice. Over a period of time, they might have become tools for exploitation for certain people. But don't throw the baby with the bath water. We must be able to see what is corruption in this, eliminate the corruption and use the technique. Don't throw away everything that the civilization has learnt in thousands of years of living and think you will reinvent the wheel tomorrow, everybody will be queuing up at a psychiatrist, just know that. The number of people who are queuing up with mental illnesses today is simply because there is no what we used to call as achara vichara. There is no debate about what is this life, why am I like this, what is the nature of my existence, no achara, no vichara and no achara, there is no anything. See, if your mothers or fathers did not insist that you must have the ritual of uh, brushing your teeth, What an unpleasant place this hall would be right now. <laughs> because out of your freedom, some of you would do, or a whole lot of you would come here, decide, I will not brush, what is the problem? No, maybe no problem for you, everybody else suffers. If you open your mouth, if you stink, not necessarily because of not brushing, just because of your culture, the way you behave, the way you speak, the way you sit, the way you stand. If people around you suffer because of your behavior, which is happening everywhere, isn't it so? Especially for girls, isn't it so? If you get into a damn bus in the town, because all these things were thought as ritual, this is how you must approach. When we are growing up in our house, our sisters are there, you cannot even address them in singular. You always have to address them with a certain respect, even when they're little girls. When you grow up with this kind of ritual, now you learn how to treat every woman on the street. Otherwise, look at the way people are behaving, most uncivilized. Uncivilized means what? The necessary rituals of culture are not there in those people, isn't it? So these can be various kind of ritual, rituals, social rituals, spiritual rituals, religious rituals, it doesn't matter. Is it working for you? are not working for you, that should be the only question.